can take your weight. My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was... Even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... Woo! That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Woo! Ah, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... Woo! Woo! At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly. So she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <laughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 Ah! Oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> it's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Fan, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes. That's it. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly. Where are we going? To the kitchen. We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone. Ooh, thank, thank you. you. I'll be back with more. <laughs> Oh, there's quite a lot. Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long. Oh, dear. <laughs> ah, we'll soon be home. Yes, and it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes, Holly must be behaving herself. said you are very stupid, I meant you are very clever. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <laughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? Jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. 
Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I'll just have to make a lot more. No, no Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum! More, more, more! Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! <gasps> Jerry Fudd! <laughs> oh, goody! They love my cakes. I'd better get baking. Who's eating all these cakes? Eating them? No one's eating them. So why do you want more? These cakes are the perfect building material. The rock cakes are super strong bricks. We're gluing them together using the super sticky fudge cake. And then the super waterproof gingerbread makes great roof tiles. Amazing! But, of course, you must never tell the Queen. Never tell the Queen what? Uh... Oh, Mrs Fig, you've mended the school, so you managed to raise enough money by selling my cakes. Um, let's just say your cakes were a great help. Yes, three cheers for Queen Thistle. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip! Hang on. These bricks look just like my rock cakes. Uh, yes. And this cement is just like my fudge cake. It is my fudge cake. Oh, no! At least she hasn't spotted the roof. And the roof tiles are my gingerbread. You didn't want to eat my cakes. Well, they're not really for eating, are they, darling? Not if you want to survive. I thought everybody liked my cakes, but nobody did. I wish I'd never baked a single cake. <laughs> but, Mummy, if we hadn't baked any cakes, we wouldn't have mended the school. Holly is right. It's only because of your baking the magic school is fixed. I suppose that's true. Hooray for Queen Thistle! Hooray! In fact, we could do with some cakes to finish the chimney, if you don't mind baking some more. Could you make some bricks for my house? I want to build a patio. Do you do paving slabs? Well, I suppose I could. Do you do drain pipes? Do you do MDF? Everyone loves my mummy's cakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming. Ready or not? Oh, where are the twins? Daisy, Poppy, it's not safe for you to fly so high. Kitty Cappy! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Nurse turned into a kitten again! Run away, kitten! Come back, Fleur! So where are the twins? Um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh, and they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> so, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. 
we better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit! Now, now, Daisy. That wasn't very nice. Bunny rabbit! What's going on? Bunny rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. It's high noon! Let the witch competition begin! First, jump making! Why are they all staring at me? You're the judge, darling. They're waiting for you to taste the witch's jam. Oh, what's in it? Slug, mostly, with a hint of bat and spider eggs for crunch. Ew! That's the most disgusting thing I've ever ever tasted. Thank you. No, my jam, Your Majesty. Yes. Um, why should I have all the fun? Isn't it someone else's go? Daddy, you're the judge, so you must taste both jams. Of course I must. Lucky me. Oh, they both taste equally revolting. So, the jam making is a draw. And now, broomstick flying! Yeehaw! That was really good! Ooh. Now it's Mrs. Witch's turn! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Right! She's held on! Yeehaw! She's riding the broom brilliantly! The broomstick riding a draw. Now for the spell contest. Mrs. Witch, where are you going? To the old witch's home. I can't win a spell contest. Yes, you can. You turned Nanny to stone. And you turned her into a frog. Well, Nanny Plum makes me so cross. Just remember to be cross with Wendy Witch. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? Ah! Windows! Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow! Look at that big girl! Shush! She's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. She's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. Oh, her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings. <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! There it is. <clears throat> it's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Now then, what would be a lovely tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! 
What on earth is that awful racket? Pink Thistle! Pink Thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp! Please help us, King Thistle! Witch's magic, eh? I can't help! Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Why, so elf? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic... <laughs> <sighs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a... <laughs> Slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs. Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs. Witch! Mrs. Witch! Oh, hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <laughs> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle! The toddlers have magicked me somewhere, but I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. <coughs> You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf, you're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs. Tarquin like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. What was that? I think the school moved. Daisy, Poppy, did you just do something? It's all right, Holly. They're being very good. And it's nearly home time. Here we are. This witch hasn't done a spell in over a hundred years. Ooh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nanny. Nanny who? Nanny Plum. Oh, Nanny Plum, do come in. What a treat. A real fairy and an elf. Yes, this is Princess Holly and Ben Elf. Come closer so that I can get a better look at you. See, she's not frightening at all. Just a bit smelly. What's that? Don't touch anything, children. Why can't we touch? Because it's dirty. What's that? Don't worry, dear. I just wanted to show the children how a real witch lives. Oh, I see. Would you like some rat milk and worm cakes? Uh, 
No, thank you, Mrs. Witch. We've already eaten. Mrs. Witch, can we ask you some questions about being a witch? Of course. Anything you like. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you! Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch, if you don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So, you don't chase elves or fairies anymore then? Oh, no. I just... Look... Witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. Look, Barry's found the mermaids. Mermaids love to swim along. Mermaids sing their mermaid song. Mermaids comb their lovely They sing so beautifully. Where Oceana lives. Diving suits on, everybody. Nice, Barry. Uh, we're friends of your brother. Yes, they're with me. Mermaids, mermaids everywhere. Hello. Hello, mermaids. We're looking for Oceana. She's over there, being sad. <laughs> Oceana, we brought your mirror back. Oh, thank you so much. But why is it so tiny? We had to shrink it down to fit in the submarine. Don't worry, the spell will wear off soon and it'll grow big again. <laughs> there you go. My mirror, thank you all so much. You're very welcome. Well, it's been a... Uh... Very interesting meeting you, uh, mermaids, but we must be getting back now. Bye, Oceana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Barry. <laughs> um, you know how the mirror suddenly got big again? Well, that happened to me and my dad. Yep, and the fun bit is you don't know when. Which means we should get a move on. We don't want them to grow big in the submarine. Ooh, I'm growing! Yeah, so am I. We must get to land. Full speed ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Try not to grow too much. Ah. But we did mend it. Well, I'm sure it's OK, then. It doesn't look exactly like it did before. <coughs> ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, <gasps> the teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? No. Mummy, it was me. I did it. And I've been sad all day. <gasps> and now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh. Oh, no, my poor darling. Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. But, Mummy, you were going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh, I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh! That is beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was before. Shall I give it a dust, Your Majesty? No, 
This is one of a kind and very fragile. No one must touch it. Promise. We, we promise. promise. I will treasure it forever. This is my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> Dum dee dum dee 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 doo dee dee dee. Oh my goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! Oh. Out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Out you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh. She's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle. Quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Baby Plum is up so fun. The elves are here. What's the emergency? It's the twins. Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf. Goodness me, Mrs Elf. I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves, too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. We're invisible. Ah. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. <laughs> Nanny Plum, your pie, mash and chips is delicious. What's for pudding? I hope it's not too heavy. Treacle sponge pudding with blancmange and custard. Hooray! Excellent. Nanny Plum is the best cook in the little kingdom. I say Nanny Plum is the best cook in the whole world. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Hello. Hello. Queen Marigold here. It's King and Queen.
green marigold. Oh, no. They're so boring and snooty. We were just eating a lovely meal of spinach with sea foam when we thought how nice it would be if you joined us for dinner tomorrow. They've invited us for dinner tomorrow. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll handle this. Sorry, we can't come for dinner. Oh, dear. What a shame. I know you hardly ever get to eat good food. What? I'll have you know we have the best cook in the whole world. You have the best cook in the whole world? Yes. Oh. Well, then we must come to you for dinner instead. See you tomorrow. Toodle pip. Oh. I've got some good news and some bad news. What's the Good news. We're not going to King and Queen Marigolds for dinner tomorrow. Hooray! What's the bad news? They're coming here. Oh, oh no! What are we going to do? King and Queen Marigold will want to eat something special. Luckily, we have the best cook in the whole world, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. What about baked potato stuffed with potato with chips and mash and a fried egg on top? Mmm, don't mind if I do. Ah, my ears are wiggling. That means there's magic about. Well, I did make the cakes with magic. Why can't you make cakes the normal way? By baking them in the oven. I don't have time for baking in ovens. I have lots of work to do. Ha! Ah, what work? I do more work than you. No, you don't. I do more work than you. I could do what you do, no problem. I could do what you do easily. Why don't you swap jobs? Then you'd know who does the most work. Good idea. Oh, ho, ho. very funny, Your Majesty. I'm not joking. As your king, I command you to swap jobs for one day. The wise old elf can be Nanny. And Nanny can be the wise old elf. But... But... No buts. It's a royal command. All right, then. You'd better have my hat. And you'd better have my apron. Now, I'd better warn the elves what they're in for. Calling all elves. Just for today, somebody else is going to be the wise old elf. Who is it? Me! <gasps> Nanny Plum! Don't worry, she won't do any magic. She has to do everything the elf way. I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. Well, I have to go. I'm being Nanny Plum for the day. Goodbye. Oh, I should have taken Nanny's wand away. Don't worry. Nanny said she wouldn't do any magic. Hmm, I'll know if she does. My ears will wiggle. So, what does the wise old elf do all day? He has a list of jobs. He starts with the toy factory. Hello, everyone. I'm the wise old owl. <coughs> Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr Frog. <coughs> Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? <coughs> Try and relax. That's it. Oh, we haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. It's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. 
Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad! <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting! Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there two Hollies? Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten Hollies. Morning, morning, morning. morning. And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, Wandy! Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye! <laughs> They've disappeared! The twins have escaped! <laughs> They're out in the wild! Sound the Daisy and Poppy alarm! This is all a big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkies! Walkies! Trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time, Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother. You started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun. That's all. Wise old elf, can you make a nanny plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly plum. Looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> an exact copy. Ooh. Now, for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. 
Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home and we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm sure Mr Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. OK, I think I can work out where we are by using my compass. Let's see. North is that way and the position of the sun is... Oh, my goodness! We're on Everest! What's that, then? Mount Everest! The tallest mountain in the whole world! Is Mount Everest far from home, Dad? A bit far from home, Ben, yes. And is it really very high? A bit high? Yes, Holly. I suppose we could just climb down. Just climb down? Just climb down Everest? The enormous, treacherous mountain of rock and ice? Perilous cliff after perilous cliff that could only be conquered by the world's greatest mountaineers? So, Mount Everest is not safe for children to climb down? No, Mount Everest isn't child-friendly. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the Elf Cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See, told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No, our secret identities have to remain a, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see, a supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, Elf Man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the Little Kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Giant palace of ice. This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. Ooh. Now, where were we? You just said hocus pocus, plinkety plonk. Oh yes. Uh -oh. Hocus pocus, plinkety Danny Plum. Oh bother. What can he want now? Nanny! I want a cup of tea! Yes, yes, coming! Uh, this card will never get made. I'll just have to do the magic myself. Now, what was Nanny's spell? Hmm. Ah, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about... Make me a birthday card super duper quick. <laughs> it worked! Come on, silly paintbrushes. Hurry up! I haven't got all day. 
you naughty paintbrushes. I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam, pop, zip, pow. More, bigger, faster, now. I magicked myself big, and I want to stay big forever. Ah! Watch where you put those big feet. Holly, you almost stepped on Nanny. Oops, sorry, Nanny. Holly, are you really sure you want to stay big forever? Yes. It's almost bedtime. How are you going to fit in your little bed? I know, Mummy. I'll sleep outside. OK, but you'll need to keep warm. How about I magic you up a giant sleeping bag? Yes, please, Nanny. Oh, lovely. I'll sleep out here under the stars. Good night, Holly. Good night. Ah, this is cosy. I hope Ben has found somewhere nice to sleep as well. Calling all elves. Stop making toys. We need a giant sleeping bag. Right Who is this enormous sleeping bag for? Ben Elf. He's a giant person now. Oh, they grow up so fast these days. Ben, grab hold of this and pull! Wow, a giant sleeping bag. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Our pleasure. Elves are good at making giant sleeping bags. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> Maybe don't toot your horn when you're so big. Now sleep well. Good night. Good night. It is fun being big. I can't wait till morning. Princess Holly, time to get up. Oh, where are you? I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <coughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <coughs> where did this come from? <coughs> Really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. <laughs> Here, froggies, <laughs> this way. <laughs> <laughs> this is my ring, and these are my toys. <laughs> Play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Let's play another game. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. <whistles> Good night, Froggies. <whistles> Here they come! Remember, 
You're just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. OK. Hello. I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, I'm, uh, pleased to hear it. My name is Miss Cookie. I'm Mrs Witch. Your name is Mrs Witch? Uh, yes, but I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't eat a fly. Uh, that's good. Can you tell us the way to the lake? Yes. Straight down the path and through the trees. You can't miss it. Is that a witch's hat you're wearing? Yes, but I'm not a witch. But you are called Mrs Witch. Yes, and you're called Miss Cookie. But you're not a biscuit. Talking of cookies, if anyone would like a snack, take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs Witch. Bye! Bye! <laughs> they never suspected a thing. But now they're going to the lake. And that's where Redbeard the elf pirate sails his boat. We have to warn him. Hello? Redbeard the elf pirate speaking. Listen carefully. Big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them, and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie, I'm a toy. Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. <laughs> Wow! Well done, Betty. <laughs> How about Gaston showing us some tricks? Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. Caterpillar is sad. <laughs> I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly, and I'm an elf. <laughs> That didn't cheer her up much. <laughs> Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly. <laughs> wow, it worked. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her. I could do another spell. No, no. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa, steady, Betty. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> That's better. Brilliant. <laughs> Elf Rescue. Hello. Well, if it isn't Nanny Plum, let me guess. The big children have seen you, you've lost your wand, and you've been locked in a cupboard. No, you've got it all wrong. We've been locked in a drawer. Oh, all right. I suppose I'd better rescue you. Elf Helicopter is go. I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy! Psst, Lucy! Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother. Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. 
Yours as well, Lucy? Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh, Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky, but oh no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Uh, guys! Ooh, a cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes, and what else? Milk! Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. It's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> and there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster... The mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh but you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow, winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! Ooh. There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. Ah, an owl! 
elf. No, it's me. The elf's boat is really, really big. No problem. We can do big. And we need duck legs. Oh, really? Then duck legs it is. Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front. <laughs> that breathes fire. Are you sure it looks right? Hmm. Maybe we should add chicken wings. <laughs> That's better. Come on, let's take it for a walk. Walkies! <laughs> What an awful noise. Morning, wise old elf. How do you like our boat? Ah! It looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr Elf, please bring out our boat. right -o. Oh! What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Everyone, have you finished my boat? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> uh, what's that? Your boat. So, I told you to make me a boat that wouldn't be laughed at, and this is what you made? Yes, Your Majesty. Whose idea was the hippo head? That was my idea. I thought of the flames. 